Okay. How do I switch? Oh, here it is. All right. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to, hello friends, enemies, and kind mothers. I'm going to, there's my desktop. Let's see, I'm going to go to, I forgot where, where I put it. Lab. Ring. Lamb ring brief. Is that called what it's called? Lamb ring brief? Nope. Lamb ring brief outline. Okay. So if you want to follow along, you could go to tinyurl.com. I like to use that a lot. Over slash lamb rim brief outline. When I find a website that's interesting and it had, and you end up with a long URL. You know how that's like. So you copy and paste it and it takes up the whole page. But I use tinyurl.com and come up with something memorable. <laughs> I barely remembered. And then, okay, so. So, the lamb rim, what is the lamb rim? It's, uh, it means something to the effect of a, a graduated path to enlightenment. Enlightenment. So, the most famous lamb rim is the one, I believe, it's the one by J. Kappa, right? And he wrote a lamb rim chenmo, stages of the path to enlightenment. The extended version without anything uh, removed, but it requires an outline to get to get the uh, idea of what it's covering. So the outline is kind of like a table of contents, but not quite, because it's basically what um, yeah what what sections are how it how it's divided up the hierarchically hierarchically so if it's like say divided up into six or seven sections and then it goes in to the subsections what's that called it's kind of like when you create uh, folders on your desktop or on your computer and then you create subfolders and so on. What is that called? A hierarchical structure or something like that? Well, let me show you what it looks like. So, you see it? Am I focused? Well, Okay, so I'm going to go over it briefly. Yes, yeah, so this is the outline for the, the, the textbook called The Great Treatise on the Stages of the Path to Enlightenment. So in Tibetan, that is the Lam Rim Chen Mo by Lama J. Tsong Kappa. J. Tsong Kappa. Rinpoche. 
the dates of his uh, of when he lived uh, roughly the 15th century a little bit of the 14th a little bit of the 15th or is it the 13th and 14th I get my <clears throat> okay the first century is from 0 to 99 so maybe it's from the 13th to the 14th because he because I think he died in 15 something let's find out J song go to the Wikipedia and there we are so the man from song Kappa was born in 1357 and died in 1419 oh so that makes him living in the 12th and 13th century wait a minute no no, that makes it, I have to add a century. So if it's 1300s, that's actually the 14th century. 14th to 15th century. So the man from Tsongkhapa, that means the man from the Onion Valley in Amdo. Okay, so let's go over the outline. Okay, mm. so in, there's been a variety of translations and one of them that's kind of a concise version is called Liberation in the Palm of Your Hand, a concise discourse on the path to enlightenment by Pabong, Pabong, Pabong. Uh, Pabongka Rinpoche, Pabongkapa Rinpoche, and Trijang Rinpoche was his student who was taking the notes of Pabongka's lectures on that book. Then it was translated by Michael Richards and published by Winston Publications. Oh, and you can download a PDF of that outline here. It should be the same as the one we're gonna go over. Okay, so here's that book, Liberation in the Palm of Your Hands by Babonka Rinpoche. So that's Babonka. It, it was uh, edited in Tibetan by Trijang Rinpoche. Okay, so is that covered the outline? Yeah, that's, that's just the outline. Whoa. Okay. And in, uh, in some books, that's considered the root text. It's used as the root text. So it first looks at the folders that are there and names them in order that should be taken. And then it opens up the first folder and looks in there and reads them out, whatever is in there, and so on. Well, when, when once it's done reading a folder and a subfolder, it goes to the next folder, comes out of the, back to the root, uh, and goes to the next folder, and so on. So you could say that they are, hmm, I don't, Outline of the text. Oh no. This is more like an, a table of contents because heading number and the preliminary part page number. Right? So, but uh, I'm thinking of the, the outline that this one has. It's more in the root text kind of style. But, well, it's not, it's not actually in that form. Because in the root text, 
the way it should go in as a root text, it should say something like uh, the stages of the path to enlightenment has six parts. Yeah. Here's the six parts. Number one, the preeminent qualities of the compilers. Now the compilers, <clears throat> that means the authors, right? Hmm. Maybe. And number two, the preeminent, preeminent qualities of the teachings. Number three, how the teachings should be studied and taught. Number four, how to guide students to enlightenment. Number five, how to rely on spiritual teachers as the root of the path. And number six, stages for training the mind. Right? And notice that number five, it was broken down into what's inside it. And number six, stages for training the mind. Wow. Mm. This is a very brief root text because a, a real root text would then go back to number one and look inside it, and then number two, and so on. But this one doesn't do that. It just stays on number six. I guess number six is uh, what's inside the path. And number one through five is like an introduction. An introduction to build up uh, enthusiasm and motivation for the text. And for example, in in one work on the Lam Rim, it um, I have to look it up. It's a joyful path of good fortune. Let's see. Here's the root text, or well, they call it the condensed meaning of the text. So let's see. So the instructions on the stages of the path to enlightenment, Lam Rim, has four parts. The instructions. Oh, okay, it's divided into four. This one's into six. Let's see. Okay, the first one, preeminent qualities of the author. Yeah, that kind of corresponds with what's over here. They call them compilers. Explanation of preeminent qualities of Lam Rim. Yeah, preeminent qualities of the teachings. Okay. Uh, how to listen to and teach Dharma. Let's see. Number three, how the teaching should be studied and taught. Number four, explanation of the actual instructions of the stages of the path to enlightenment. Number four here is how to guide students to enlightenment. But this one doesn't go to number five unless it's uh, shown later. Okay. Let's see if there's a number five. Hmm. Hmm. 
it goes on and on and on. I'm going back developing bodhicitta, the wheel of life. Delicious birth. Mm. Ah. I'm, I'm going back to different meditations, different categories, I'm getting closer to the beginning. Oh, so, so this one, uh, explanation of the actual instructions of the stages of the path, number four, is basically the same as this one's number four, five, and six. I would say, because the first three are covered in this one, right? And so the number one preeminent qualities of the compilers, that's the same thing as explanation of the preeminent qualities of the author, showing that the instructions of Lam Rim are authentic. Then number two, preeminent qualities of the teachings, explanations of the preeminent qualities of Lam Rim to inspire faith and respect for the Lam Rim instructions. Number three, ex, uh, here is how the teachings should be studied and taught. Explanation, here it's explanation of how to listen to and teach Dharma. Yeah, okay, they're equivalent. Number four, how to guide students to enlightenment. But this one says, explanation of the actual instructions of the stages of the path to enlightenment. This goes on to number five, how to rely on spiritual teachers as the root of the path. What to do during the actual session. Six preparatory practices, how to cultivate reliance on our teachers and how to conclude the se session. I guess number five is here also, but it's under number four. It would be, that should be in here somewhere. Yeah, preparing for meditation is the same thing as this one's under number five, the six preparatory practices, right? There they are. Cleaning the meditation room and setting up a shrine with representations of Buddhist body, speech, and mind. 
Number two, arranging suitable offerings. Number three, sitting in the correct meditation posture, going for refuge and generating and enhancing bodhicitta. Number four, visualizing the field for accumulating merit. Number five, accumulating merit and purifying negativity by offering the practice of the seven limbs and the mandala. Requesting the field for accumulating merit in general and the lamb rim lineage gurus in particular to bestow their blessings. Okay, so that's in there. And then you go to how to cultivate reliance on our teachers and how to conclude the session. So that that's probably that's uh, a that's number or letter B. That would be right here. The qualifications of Mahayana spiritual guide and the Mahayana disciple and the actual meditation and relying upon our spiritual guide and the actual meditation on reaction. Uh, on, on relying up on our spiritual guide has four parts. The benefits of relying completely on our spiritual guide, the dangers of breaking our commitment, how to rely on our spiritual guide, by developing faith and respect, how to rely upon our spiritual guide by engaging in actions of service and devotion. The benefits of relying completely upon our spiritual guide has eight parts. Hmm. Oh, so here's an example of where it's in a particular folder. It's in, divided into three parts, actually four parts. One, two, three, four up here, the top. So the first one is, it's concerning well, all four are concerning the meditation on relying upon our spiritual guide. So the first one says the benefits of relying completely upon our spiritual guide. And then over here, it, it goes deeper into that. So what are the benefits? So it lists the benefits and he calls it uh, eight parts. And so I list them and then what happens? It goes to number two, the dangers of breaking our commitment. That would be the following. Yeah, here it is. The dangers of breaking our commitment. And so it's got how many? Eight also. And then it, that's number two from back here. Number one, number two. And number three, how to rely. That would be over here. There it is. How to rely upon. And, and that's in two parts. Yes. And then, and then, how to rely upon our spiritual guide by developing faith and respect. And then let's see if we can find faith and respect. Yeah, here it is. That's in two parts. Then number four, how to rely upon our spiritual guide by engaging in actions of service and devotion. So you go, there it is. No? No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's something that is is a little bit different than what I expected. So how to rely upon our spiritual guide by engaging in actions of service and devotion. But, but when you go look for it, you can't find it. Unless 
this is breaking up something else. So that goes through uh, the benefits and let's see the benefits has eight parts. Then breaking commitments has an eight parts. Then developing faith and respect. Okay. So this one, developing faith and respect, it it has two parts, but then it wants to go in inside this one. Because there's more detail in this. You can think of this as a, a, a folder, and so it's got contents or subfolders in it. So it has to check them out. The one that says developing faith that our spiritual guide is a Buddha. So there it is. So that has subparts, subfolders, three of them. Why is it necessary and how is it possible and how to develop the conviction? Okay. No, oh, wow. And then this one, number two. No, no, number three. How to develop the conviction is that the spiritual guide is a Buddha. Is uh, it's got parts in it. It's got four parts in it. There they are. Now yeah, look, here's the part on service and devotion. It has four parts. And service and devotion is way back here somewhere. No, not that far. There it is, number four. So the meditation on relying upon our spiritual guide has four parts. So it went into one, two, three, four. Whoa. Hmm. I should put it over here. Can you read it? One, two, three, four. Service and devotion is four. So, wow. What about this one? How to develop respect for a spiritual guide by remembering his or her kindness. It has two parts. Wow.
Hmm. How would I? We could. Uh, maybe we need a a program like v, Vcio or uh, a graphics program where we can uh, create blocks and out of a block show how it's split up kind of like a genealogy let's see if we can find one no let's see block block diagram designer for outline black diagram maker maybe the Oh, here it is. It's closed. Let's see. What? Black diagram designer. Let's see. Images. Yeah, something like this. Hmm. Would it be something like this? I just have from left to right all going that way. Or could it be like that? What about outline? Outline. Could it be like a database structure? Could be. Hmm. Flow chart. I don't know. Functional. Black diagram. Hmm. I don't know. What about?
organizational chart tool no but it's not like that it could be like that i don't know what about this one? Free organizational chart maker. I don't know. Let modern process team office. Let's see. How to make an organizational chart in Word. Insert smart art. Select smart. Let's try it. Smart art. Go to the insert tab and select smart art. There it is. Select org chart template. Hmm. Let me try this one. That might work, but I'm gonna have to lay out. Like that. And I'm gonna have to change the size, right? Let's see, design, draw. Yeah. Oh, shit. So there we go. Oh, why does it have to be? Okay, so. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Explanation of the preeminent qualities of the author showing that the instructions
Okay. Qualities. Qualities. Qualities of the author. Copy. So I paste it, right? Shit, what happened? Oh. Damn. I want to copy qualities. Copy. Qualities. That sucks. Oh, what if I go? Copy. And then. Um, so I. Mm. So, mm, it's one, two, How to listen. Okay. So that means Did I have to uh, Man, I can't copy it. Doesn't let me copy. Shit. <sighs> There's four. So that's going to be these four. One, two, three, four. So the first one is number one. Right? So, shit, wrong one. Qualities of the author. Qualities of the authors. There we go. Mm. 
There we go. Qualities of the author. Number two. Number two. Qualities of Lamrim. Number three. How to listen to and teach the Dharma. Number four. Actual instructions. Mm. Okay. Okay, qualities of the author, qualities of Lamrim. Okay, so we got we got those. Let me uh Lamrim. That's a good name for it. Lam Rim. Okay. Okay, so we got those four, and now what's underneath the first one? Preeminent qualities of the uh, no, I don't think it's divided up. Of lamb rim, number two is divided up. Oh no, maybe the Tisha. Wait a minute. Explanation of the author showing that the instructions. That has three parts. A t -shirt. So we go to the over here. Oh. Oh, okay, Tisha's verse. Tisha's birth and early life. Tisha's attainment. Uh, payments and we're going to use ampersand. Letitia's work The teacher's work of spreading the Dharma. 
there. Ah, uh, how do you add another one? Oh, I added a four, a third one. And I hit enter twice and I got a third one. All right, somehow. Hmm, I come. There. Oh, but I can't see that. Should I increase the text size? Let's see. Oh, shit. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. Mm -hmm. Go back to uh, the joyful path of good fortune and see what else happens. Uh, so. So he goes into the into this one, Lam Rim. I eliminated a uh, preeminent. I eliminated superlative words. So 
qualities of Larem, that would be right here. Qualities of Lamrem. This is here. And then attributes. Characteristics and attributes. How's that? Ah, man, it's a lot of work. Okay, now that's these two. Whoops. Characteristics and attributes. Then the characteristics are broken down into three parts. Mm. Three parts. Mm. Oh. There's the three parts. And hmm. Okay. Where which one is in three parts? Oh, I forget. Characteristics. Okay, it's the first one that's got three parts. Characteristics. So we need characteristics. One part is that. Oh, oh that's too much. Condensation. Condensation of all Buddha Dharma. Mm. <sighs> Easy to put into practice. Okay. Oh, there it is. But there's one more. Now here's the tricky part that I'm I'm not sure how to do it yet. I did it before. I guess you get over here and you hit enter. And that's it for that one. Yeah, so number three. Superior to other traditions. Superior to other traditions. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh man, how come it's doing that? Oi.
Maybe I have to use select. Oh, I kind of like that. <laughs> Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, how come this didn't keep the number? Oh, I know why. Oh. oh boy. Ah! I, I'm tired. It's a lot of work. Attributes of Lamram. There they are. There's four. Oh boy. Four. Attributes. We will understand that none of Buddhist teachings. And the Buddhist teachings are contradictory. One, two, three, four. None of So none of Buddhist teachings are contradictory. All Buddhist teachings, all Buddhist teachings are personal advice.
realize Naturally become free and from all, all other faults. Student. Uh, one. Becomes. Free from the great fault. Yeah. <sighs> there we go. So it continues like that. How to listen to and teach Dharma. Well, actually, we listen to Dharma has two parts. Abandoning the three faults. Wow. What? Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Like a pot turned upside down. Okay. Hmm. How to listen to and teach Dharma. Go back to this. How to listen. Oh. How to listen to Dharma, how to teach Dharma. Including 
stage comment to the student and teacher. There's actually a part I missed. Um, that one, and then before that one. So So the three parts uh, go wait a minute. Three parts. Hmm. How to listen to and teach Dharma has three parts. So that means that I'm here. Okay, so. How to listen, how to teach. Ah, something like that.
uh, how and how to listen. How to listen has three parts. There they are. Have to listen. Consider Consider the benefits. We consider the benefits. How to teach? Oh, man, this is tiresome. Mm, there might be something else. The actual way also. So the actual way, right here, the actual way, so I have to hit enter. Oh no. Shit.
make sure we have listening. And you have to hit shift enter. No. Shit, how do you get create a sub? Oh, maybe you hit this. That's your way of listening. Maybe you hit this. Oh. You're going to right click. Promote, demote. I think I did it. I demoted it. Ah, shall we have this? How many does it have? Has two parts. And an interview false. Cultivating six six recognitions. Mm. So sheesh. Oh. I give up. I'm so tired. Um, this will go on forever. I didn't get very far. This is still sort of like the introduction, right? The qualities of the author, the qualities of Lamrem, how to teach, how to listen and listen to and teach the Dharma, the four actual instructions of the stages of the path. Pot turned. Make a pot turn upside down. Bending in three faults. Hmm. Abandoning three faults. There they are. Let's see if I can get it. Let's see if I can. Demote. Demote, demote.
or like a pot turn right upside down, like a bad smelling pot. And like a leaky pot. Oh, man. What about what comes next? Oops. Cultivating six recognitions. Holy shit. Six, six recognitions. Oh shit, this one's got six. Oh. Oh, I'm going to skip the six recognitions for now. The actual instructions is two parts. Wow. Essence. All right, did I erase it? Rely upon the spiritual guy. The explanation of the actual instructions. What is number four?
Oh, I give up. I'm tired. It's getting shame. <sighs> I'm going to stop.